It is 1-16-2023. Today, I got up because I was, I went to a board meeting, the nonprofit I work for at like 1 p.m. or 1 a.m. 1 a.m. My brain isn't functioning quite well. So anyway, I slept in a bit. I meant to go to my 7.30 lesson, but for some reason my internet had other plans. So that got canceled. So I messaged my tutoring center. And they're like, okay, well, Mark, that you had tech issues. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> the page just would not load. I spent about five minutes trying to load. I'm going, internet, internet. I'm thinking dark thoughts, internet. So anyway, after that fiasco, I finished up my homework for today. I'm at 94% on my one, I believe, and I'm at 100% my other class for the first week. I'm like, yay. And I decided to go out for breakfast. So I followed Google Maps. I made it to the breakfast. I realized I was about a block away from the bus station to go ask if they go to Yellen. They don't. Bushy. Moy, moy, moy. So anyway, the train goes to Yellen. So later this week, I'm going to the train station and asking them how I get to Yellen from here with my suitcases. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, in the midst of all that, I had breakfast, fabulous breakfast for like 82 in TD, which is like $2.60 or something. Actually, I think it's less than that. I think it's $1.97 for the thing, but close to that. So anyway, then I was like, I am almost out of beverages, which for me, I kind of count my independence and wealth through my ability to buy beverages. I know that sounds weird, and I don't drink alcoholic beverages, but I love beverages. So, I went to the grocery store and spent about $7 on various Taiwanese beverages. I recently discovered this at the breakfast shop that I normally go to. It is passion fruit juice. It is about 30 cents a jar. It is heaven in a cup. So I bought this brand to see if I like it too, as much as I think I will because of the breakfast shop. And they look like this. They're like little juice boxes. This is the only country I've ever been to that has like everything in juice boxes. This is guava, mango, and orange mixtures, which I'm not into guava because it boosts your sugar, but I had to try it. I'm like, this looks interesting. This is the orange, or no, this is Jasmine tea. Oh, I thought it was orange juice. It'll still be delicious. Okay. Again, each of these are 30 cents. And that's a jet plane because they have a military base here. So they're either training or they're going to tell the Chinese planes you are in our airspace. Yeah, that's what they do. I'm like, <laughs> you know, I've never been in a place like that. No one's worried about it. They're just like, if China gets too close, we send out the planes to remind them. I'm like, ah, interesting. Everyone here is so peaceful. They have their boba tea. The guys walk around with their girlfriends holding massive plushies they buy in the store. I'm like, I've never met any people quite like the Taiwanese. I really like them. But anyway, this is my bubble black tea. I didn't know it came in 600 milliliter containers. I'm like, wow. It's as big as my head. <laughs> but this is She Lee's tea from I Do Be Loved in House. Just a on box. This is Nest Tea Pear Tea. I had to try it. I was like, what does the pear tea taste like? So anyway, this is the pear tea. This is my favorite coffee. It is milk and coffee and sugar and water. And it tastes fabulous. And it was about 82 cents. Two of those because I saved it to dollar. Oh, there they go. Okay. And these are bubble jasmine tea. Okay. Yeah, I can see them go right by my window. I'm like, oh, training, going and telling China. <laughs> oh my God. Just another day in Taiwan. But anyway, these are the bubble teas jasmine. They don't have big jars as big as your head. And these are orange juices that were like around 30 cents each too. The orange juice here in Taiwan is fabulous. Oh, there's another cat. 
as well as the passion fruit tea. I'm not into the lemon juice, which some people really like, but it's just too lemony for my taste. But anyway, that is my day so far. I'm going to go put the meat in the fridge. And I also got some more of the get into the chiropractor. But I've been putting it off for like literally four months. It's always a bad decision, but oh, there's another shit. That one's landing though, okay. So three landed, or two landed, three left, I don't know. But anyway, but I haven't gotten into the chiropractor and I really don't want to get into the chiropractor till I kind of figure out where I'm going to be because I'm like, I hate going to new doctors. I mean, it's not something I really like to do. So I bought some new pain patches for like uh, 350 and that should get me through the week. I'm like, slap on the patch, take some ibuprofen. The pain is still there, but I'm in a happy place. 